Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, thank you so much, thank Lorena. You. Okay. Wow. Thank I'll, try. You. <laughs> I'll try to get um, through my introduction, introduction a little bit faster for the sake of time. But hi, my name is Lorena Medina. Um, I'm 17 years old. I am a senior year in high school, and I'm also the Where? lead. Oh, at N Northeast Early College. Okay. So a part of the internship program here at Mama Bird. Okay. So, um, oh, and I was going to say that um, I'm the lead intern here at Mama Bird. So I'm kind of like in front of like all the interns. So like managing them as well and working with them. Um, also, my mentor is Carla. So I work alongside her as well. And yeah, so to begin, um, I, after high school, I would like to pursue a career in business and more specifically right now I'm interested in accounting um, and I'm currently working in the, as an accounting apprentice at Home Advisor. Um, it's a company that connects homeowners and service professionals for any renovations or home projects. And oh you're kidding. <laughs> no I'm really yeah. <laughs> we might uh, have to talk after. <laughs> I have a thing that needs to be done. So, okay. <laughs> yeah. So um, I really, oh, this program extends for like three years. Um, I'm currently in my second year. So I have the great opportunity of having my first year of college um, being paid for for the program. And so, yeah, um, I have really enjoyed all the things that I've learned so far in accounting. Um, but that doesn't necessarily mean I want to work as an accountant like my whole life. Um, I don't know if you know, but I'm an introvert. And although I am a very introverted person, I would really love to, I really like to work for people and with people. And I want to give back. And sorry if I'm like kind of cutting off, but I'm reading off my notes. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, I want to give back. Right now, I'm working really actively with my church. Um, it's called Ministerios Casa de Unción. It's a small church, but um, I'm working with a few projects. The two that stand out or that we've been really diving deep into is the annual toy drive and um, the food bank. Um, for the toy drive, we um, raise funds for um, so we can buy toys and make a holiday meal for um, low-income families in Mexico. Um, we just did that the last December last year, a month ago. And for the food bank, we go and collect um, food from food distributors that donate us food. And uh, we act as a little mini extension from that. So in our church, we give back to communities in the Thornton slash Denver com area communities. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So I have seen um, during this time, so many families that are blessed because of this and especially during like the coronavirus pandemic and these hard times. So yeah, um, now that I am with Mama Bird, I know for a fact that I will be like going to impact more lives than I have ever imagined. And I really, that's really important to me because I'm such a giving person. I'm so caring and I really want to just give back my all. Um, I'm grateful um, because for this little amount of time I've been at Mama Bird, I've learned a lot about myself and of what I truly want out of life and what I want it to look like for me. Um, I've, um, it's helped me to realize that I can be myself, that I can have my own opinions and I can speak out because for so long I've not had my own voice in fear of offending others or others views, but I don't want to live like that anymore. I am just, and my, my opinions matter just as much as everyone else's. And I am grateful for that. Um, also, I can't wait to be a part of the ongoing growth of Mama Bird and Mama Bird interviews and all of the extensions of that. So I'm excited. And um, just to wrap it up, I've always known that I've wanted to work with people, um, but I never really knew where to start. Like, I mean, I've been working with my church and everything, but just like a career, I guess. Um, and so I'm at Mama Bird, I think it's the start of like my career and helping others and just starting to grow and yeah, to grow. Um, but it's also like the start of um, women empowerment in communities such as Montbello, because I, I rarely see it like in communities that are so close to me. So I'm really excited to be part of that as well. 
And also being part, um, being the daughter of Mexican immigrants, um, I was raised in a very family oriented um, household and very helping, like helping hands. Mm -hmm. So um, I've been taught many things throughout my life, but one that I will always um, keep into my heart is that whenever you're going to give, give only the very best of yourself, the only best, not the mm -hmm. leftovers, not the scraps, the very best. Mm -hmm. And that's what I plan to do for my life. Uh, thank you so very, very much. This was exactly what I hoped. And you went, um, uh, you were more trusting of me than I had even uh, expected. So I, I thank you. I am grateful for your, for your time. It strikes me that so many of you introduced yourselves as introverts, almost like you were apologizing, like, oh, I'm an introvert, you know. Um, and I am a flaming extrovert, um, just heads up, flaming extrovert. But the only difference is that if you were to envision a fake fur coat, um, not a real fur coat, um, I wear my fur on the outside and y'all wear your fur on the inside. So um, just, just think of, the, of it that way. Being an introvert means that you also you draw your energy in a different kind of way. And if I didn't have introverts around me, um, people around me who weren't more quiet to keep me grounded, I would spin out into the ozone someplace. So um, I really appreciate those listening skills. How may I be of service to you? So for us, what we want to go ahead and do is we want to reach as many people as we can with Mama Bird. One, because obviously this is a, a great keepsake for family members, but two, because we want to go ahead and, and, and let our community know that we're not going to be stuck where, you know, they usually keep Montbello. They have this negative connotation around our, our community. And we have so many wonderful women of color that all they need is that positive boost to be able to get up to whatever they want to accomplish. And we just want to be able to reach as many of these women as we can and say, hey, you know what? Um, you know, even though 200, 200 may not mean a lot to somebody, but 200 may mean more oh. to somebody, doing this, do, doing this interview and having this as a part-time job is going to help you reach your goals. It's going to help you, hey, for example, FAFSA didn't cover all, all your tuition. These 200 bucks can go towards that. I want them to know that just because we're seen in a negative way, that doesn't mean that we can't get our community out of there. 